Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another Black Series 2 pack. I'm very excited about this one. We've got Yoda and Clone Commander Gree. I found this today at Supernova Pop Culture Expo here in Adelaide. Um, the Disney store actually had a stall there. It's interesting because we don't have any Disney stores in Australia. But uh, it was cool to see a little bit of Disney representation there. It hasn't, I haven't seen that before. Um, so really cool, and uh, yeah, this one has just dropped, especially after talks of this one being delayed. Um, I'm not sure why, whether that's just the US. Not sure, but this is cool. I'm really excited about this pack. This is probably since Darth Sidious came out, obviously bringing in a prequel era Yoda is, uh, you know, definitely high on the uh, list of wants. And a nice version of Commander Gree from the Clone Wars... Um, which is really, really cool. And it's another addition to the Clones of the Republic. And uh, yeah, we've had Commander Gree in his sort of Revenge of the Sith, sort of more camouflaged look, coming in the Black Series before. But the, yeah, we've just got the sort of standard Phase 2 before he uh, camos it up. It's a picture of him on the side. And there's Yoda on the other side. Nice looking... Artwork there, a little bit of a write-up in between the images on the back. This is number two, the Clones of the Republic, number one being Mace Windu and his clone, his clone soldier. And yeah, your little Yoda's little Jedi Council chair, so that's cool. Yeah, well, I'm chomping at the bits to open this up, so let's do it and have a look at the figures. Alright folks, here are these two figures out of the packaging. Yeah, really, really nice set. I'm um, pretty... Pretty damn excited about these ones. Um, great range of art, uh, accessories, uh, which we will go over. Obviously, the clone, pretty much coming what all clones come with. It's the uh, the longer, the longer DC fifteen rifle. I can't remember the names. I think that's right. And then the uh, the smaller DC fifteen A. Don't quote me on that. I could be way off. But um, yeah, no extra sort of paint details on them. But that's fine. It doesn't matter too much. Yoda comes with his lit lightsaber, which is the same mold that came with Luke and Grogu from the Book of Boba Fett. So they sort of retooled his lightsaber to have, you know, a lit and an unlit hilt. Just the, uh, the original Yoda's lightsaber was a little bit too chunky. He also comes with his little... Give him a stick. He's a little little walking walking cane, which is cool. It's a little bit different to the uh, Empire Strikes Back one. We will have a look at that one side by side because in terms of Yoda, he's pretty much the same figure. But we're going to start with Gree. And yeah, one thing I wanted to see if his helmet is removable and if it's painted. I don't think it is. In this case, and that's fine. It doesn't need it, unless they were doing a Phase One Gree based on the Clone Wars, where he's got the sort of the double double mohawk. That's when I would have expected a, a a removable helmet. But for this purpose, not necessary. Not necessary at all. But yeah, it's nice to see, you know, a trooper in these colours. I think it looks great. I think the uh, Revenge of the Sith Gree is going to take a Slightly backward step on the shelf. Um, you know, the, the sculpt for these clones are just far superior to those to those original ones. And uh, yeah, this, he's come out really, really nice. So I'm really, really happy with Gree here. Let me just go over and look at the look at the paint applications. All nice and clean. Looks good. We know the trooper itself. We know the figure itself is is an absolute winner. They can't really do much else to to perfect the sculpt of the uh, six inch clone trooper. Now I don't think. I don't know if you could if you could improve on it. What would you do? But yeah, overall nice clean paint applications.
feels like there's some slight differences with the uh, with the different greens, but I think it's literally just angle and lighting just tricking my eyes. I don't have my glasses on right now, so that's not helping. <laughs> there might be some slight differences, but that's all good. Articulation wise, he's got the uh, the ball joint in the top of the head, ball joint at the neck, ball hinges in the shoulders with the butterfly joint in there too, ball hinges in the elbows, in and out, hinges on the wrists, or on the left, and on the right we've got the up and down hinge, got ball and socket torso, there's plenty of range of movement for Gree here. Down to the thighs, got the ball and socket, the hips, got the swivels at the thighs, tucked in there behind the thigh armour. Ball hinges on the knees, ball hinges on the ankles, and that rocker joint in the foot. So you get those nice wide stances. As always, I'll use the uh, trusty Kessel Run stand. I know this is going to work. So you look at that nice snug fit. Gets Gree ready to rock and roll. So I'm just going to arm him up with the larger rifle. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Really liking the look of him. Much like the, uh, the purple one that came with Mace. I can't remember the... Uh, we got 187, but this one looks good. So let's pop him back there. Now let's uh, let's bring in this uh, diminutive little Yoda. So first, we'll take a look at his little Jedi Council chair. Now we have seen this before in three and three quarter scale, and SH Figure Arts also did one. But I think this one's uh, pretty damn nice. This is nice and solid. It's almost, uh, the red, it's almost a soft, soft rubber. So it's got a sort of different feel about it to the rest, which is like a nice, sturdy, harder plastic, whereas this is not a rubber, but it's a more of a soft, malleable plastic. So you get a little bit better. Just gives it a little bit different look and feel, which is really nice. I think they did that with Palpatine's throne as well, like the purple cushions that sort of lined his chair were a little bit more of that softer feel, which is great. You know, it's a nice little you know, point of difference. Whether we'll see any more of these sort of council chairs <laughs> yet to be seen, I'd love to. I think it'd be cool, but yeah, we've got a few Jedi now that need chairs. So I don't know. I'm happy with just Yoda, but, uh, Let's take a look at Yoda. So like I said, I'm going to bring in the Empire Strikes Back version. Just for a bit of a side-by-side. -side. Yeah, the only difference is, uh, you know, the robe. This one's given the sort of more prequel hooded robe. He doesn't have his little uh, necklace thing that he uses. His stick's a little bit different. But in terms of the figure itself... Um, they're the same figure, you know, the the mould of the body, the articulation's all the same as this one. Just new heads to just to uh, share that prequel like image, and I love I love the look of him. Really do that nice little cheeky sort of smile to him. Truly really wonderful, as the mind of a child is. Sculpts just absolutely fantastic. I have had the SH Figure Arts one before, and I think this one might might just outdo it, you know, especially when you put in comparison price. And that was a really good Yoda. But 
but let's pop the head off. Now, I think with figures like Yoda, I think they do... I think Star Wars would benefit a lot more from some more switch-out heads. Just to give a little bit more variation. Now we get a little bit more of a aggressive Yoda to fight Sidious. Which ideally is how I want to set this one up on the shelf. Would love to get a second one to have sitting on the throne, sitting on his chair, but let's be honest with that Sidious. This is going to go so well. Yeah, it's a pretty nice, simple. It's not a snug fit on the head there, which is good. All right, let's just slip this robe off. So we can get a look at the articulation. So as you saw with the head, a slight little ball joint, ball and socket joint there. We'll put Happy Yoda back on. Ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows. The wrists are ball hinges. There's an up and down hinge there on the left hand. You can just see it in there. And I think it'd be the same for the right hand. Yes, it is. You can just sort of see that hinge in there. Obviously, the uh, the sleeve sort of restricts that movement a little bit, but that's okay. Um, just a swivel with the waist there. Ball and socket joints there for the hips. Hinge joint in the knees. You can get him. You can almost get him in that sort of fighting. We'll take a look at that afterwards. I do like that pose. Um, and then articulation in the, the ankles there. He's got little little hinges. And a little bit of a rocker joint there in the foot too. No pegs on Yoda, but he's so small that hopefully the center of balance will just work out fine and he'll be okay. <laughs> but yeah, I like the uh I like what they've done with the robe. Again, they've sort of stitched down the back of the hoods. So I like that they're doing that now. It's up to you whether you want to cut that so you can have the hood up. But for me personally, I think most of them look good with the hoods down. I'd rather have the hood sort of stuck down like that rather than, you know, having it up and look a little bit funny. I'm going to slip that robe back on. In terms of the colour of the robe, I don't know, maybe I'm just... So we're tuned to this Yoda. I was going to say this one should be a little bit lighter, but I think that's right. I'm just probably just as tuned to him wearing this one. But yeah, I think it's a nice sort of natural progression between between the two. So again, let's give him his lightsaber. There we go. Let's give him his slightly more. off I'm gonna try and get him in that pose I had him before with it with the knee up and the other one sort of folded down play around with it. So much you could do. Just having this Yoda is so good. Beautiful stuff. Really, really nice. Now I just want to cross his sort of legs a little bit if we can, just to see how he sits on his little chair. I'm just going to play around a little bit more with that articulation to get it looking a little bit nicer. But, you know, this Yoda is going to be action-orientated for, for the most part. He 
Yeah, it looks good. Mm, so the hope here is you get him in a sort of a two two-handed wield of the lightsaber. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Really, really nice. He's even having fighting Dooku. Yeah, that's that's unreal. Yeah, really, really liking that. So good. Really, really impressed. So we've got Yoda and Commander Gree. Two fantastic figures. And you know what, with the uh, the price point of the two-pack, having that extra head for Yoda, plus the seat, plus the other accessories, it kind of, kind of makes up for feeling like you're getting one and a half figures kind of thing, you know. It's not, yeah, otherwise you'd wouldn't feel like a true two pack, so I appreciate Hasbro doing that and throwing that in just to you know give it a little bit more spice for spice for the rice. But yeah, Yoda is amazing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Sound out, let me know. Almost feel like I need another Yoda for that head now, <laughs> just so he can sit on a chair. I might use one of my older Yodas to do that, so we'll see. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the review. Uh, drop a comment if you so choose, and subscribe if you're new. I hope to see you again very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you always.